Pozdrav zima. Ja sam Simon i u današnjem vlogu ćemo posjetit jezera Bled i Bohin. Pa ajmo. So we were lucky because when we arrived in Bled it was sunny day and we went from Villa Bled to to visit this place where Tito used to have breakfast on a really nice view on the lake. Then we went to Bled Castle that also have a really awesome view. And uh, inside you can visit stuff like the blacksmith shop and uh, the guy that is holding it is really interesting. I have a lot of things to say and to teach. Warms to his own hand like this, so it has a bit of a better grip. He did additional supports for it so he doesn't have to change the wood with it. So when I do, Whoa. the hammer doesn't jump from my hand, only the tourists do. <laughs> showed us how to make a coin and give it to us. Also, he told us about some stories about the painting that is in the Capelitsa just next to this place, which is a really nice painting by the way. I just found the smallest window of my life. And uh, of course, like in every museum, you always have this creepy mannequin. <laughs> but still, the castle was really nice and I've heard it's like the oldest castle of Slovenia, so that's the place to see. They also have this this shop with a uh, old press, uh, old-fashioned way to print to print papers, to print books, where you have to put the letters like one by one to create words or sentences. And um, again, the guy knew a lot of things, and it's interesting to see how it's made, how they use the handcraft paper. This time he was printing some quote from the movie Into the Wild, so happiness is real only when it's shared. Then we went to Bochin, which is another lake, really nice also. Here you can see Ursha explaining us where we are heading to. took some time there to enjoy the, the water, the sunlight and the ducks. Then by car we took this road going through the forest and we arrived at this place where you can hike until the, this quite famous waterfall, not this one. So as you can see it was painful to hike for some people and more easy for others. Then we arrived at the magical place, but it was not so big because uh, some water haven't froze yet, so the big waterfall was missing, the big one that you can see on this picture, but still the color of the water and everything was really awesome to see. 